Hey, welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We're at the beautiful Alfty Family Farm in western Wisconsin in Vernon County. It's beautiful out here, Isn't man. it absolutely gorgeous? gorgeous. I'll tell you what, uh, we have something in common with what we're going to do today. I do, at least. Really? I was born and raised in Wisconsin. Okay, got There's number on one that. key. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to be actually, we're at a nice sustainable family farm. We are at the Alfty Family Farm, like you mentioned. Right. It's a Wisconsin grass fed beef cooperative. Yes, there, there are about 190 strong, if I'm not mistaken, throughout the whole state of Wisconsin. Uh, we are actually in Coon Valley, uh, and, and I actually had the opportunity just a little uh, uh, east and a tad bit south at Westby to stay at a nice little hotel there. Well, this is beautiful, beautiful country. If you've never been in this part of the state, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous coming and, in And here. you know what happened really about, uh, uh, a few hundred years ago, the French came down, did a little trapping. They did. Yeah, and they stayed for quite a while, and then the the the, the, the Nordskis. The Nordskis? You know the Nordski. Nord I think I went to school with the Nordskis. The Scandinavian came, and they saw these beautiful coolies, and coolie, by the way, is French for valley. Okay. So, like, we're on Spring Coulee Road. I was wondering how that worked. And, All right. And so coolie means valley, and, and so, and, it, and if you look over yonder, on the other side of that hill, is zigzag and curve, La Crosse, Wisconsin, okay. is to the west, a little bit north of us, about 28 miles, right. 25 miles, somewhere in that neighborhood. So that's where we're pinpointing that. We're at, we're at the Ofty Family Farm. We are gonna be doing some grass-fed beef, gorgeous stuff. We're gonna do some wonderful Elkham butter. Yes. And some other wonderful things, so stay tuned. The next first segment is gonna be a little uh, uh, south of the border cooking. Oh, we're going south. Yeah, 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 yeah. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with, not more of Mad Dog and Merrill's, but Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Yeah, but we're gonna have more of it. Absolutely, you stay tuned. We'll be right back. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix and Profire Grills. All natural golden plump chicken, Minnesota and Wisconsin raised. It's golden good. Cherry Delight, a Door County original. Renard's Cheese of Door County, get your squeak on. The Oneida Nation and the new Oneida Market. Crisp Kraut, the world's finest sauerkraut, proudly produced in Wisconsin for over a century. And by UW Provision, the meat people, and so much more. Hey folks, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. You know, I kind of confused folks earlier. I said the same that born and raised in Wisconsin. And well, what I'm I confused. meant what I meant was the cattle are born and raised in Wisconsin, so was I. Gotcha. But All what right. the nice thing about the cattle with the cattle? With the what's <laughs> nice about the cattle being born and raised in Wisconsin is there's there's less fuels, fossil fuels being used to raise them. Right. It's not gotcha. as though we're, 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 we're trucking them in from thousands of miles away or, or across a, a, to a different country. They're actually raised right here in Wisconsin. You're helping out family farmers. And the, you know what? The great thing about the, the, the cattle here is they're relaxed. Well, That's why I wore this peace shirt today because so are the cattle at peace. They're relaxed. They're, they're like a, a, their social behavior is normal. Well, they're just, they're just walking around, grazing away. They're enjoying life. That's how we should do it in life, folks. Just walk around, graze around, and enjoy life. That's exactly right. In fact, they're just coming out of the woods, yeah. out of the shade, grazing back there. So it's kind of neat. Uh, we're going to do a little south of the border cooking. I took the, uh, a hanger steak. Okay. And, and I looked up hanger steak, and I thought a hanger steak was the same as a skirt steak. Sure. I thought the, you know, the skirt hangs right here like a skirt on the cow on a cattle, but but actually there's the brisket right here. Right. And the hanger steak hangs inside the rib cage, underneath the brisket, underneath the ribs, inside, protecting the organs. And I took a, a wonderful little hanger steak, I'll show you in a moment. I glistened it with an oil, south of the border, so I used a little chili powder, a little nutmeg, a little bit of our grilling magic over here. I squeezed lime over the top, and I'm gonna get another lime ready, because that's what I planned on doing the yep. whole time. And, and I seared it up, I put the green egg at a nice high temperature, and I seared up one side of that hanger steak. Mm. Now there's, there's one of the baby. hanger steak, and it just has this piece of fat down the middle that's just so flavorful. So I'm gonna sear it up on the other side now, All right. on our green egg. I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon over the little lime over the top of that. We're gonna get that ready to cut up into fajitas. We need tortilla shells. We need tortilla shells. You know, tortilla shells are very economical. A lot of people use them for everything. I love this because tortilla shells, you get the large ones, you get the small ones, whatever size you want. I like these. I like these too. You need Which, about six of them. All right. Anyway, I'm going to use the whole pack. They look hungry. The crew looks hungry and everybody else here. Yep. All that I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap these up in aluminum foil. Now, you could do these in the house if you want to. Some people even mic them 
for, you know, maybe 20 seconds or so. But I'm going to wrap these up. I'm going to place them on the grill and leave it go for about 10 minutes. Nice medium heat. You might want to check them once in a while. You don't want to overcook them or anything, but move it over to one side yeah. where there is no heat. And just slow cook them for about 10 minutes, and then you've got a nice soft shell to go ahead and fix to add your meat and your vegetables to it. The uh, uh, peppers and onions, because we're going to do some fajitas. All right. Uh, if you hadn't had a chance to use our beautiful extra virgin olive oil, it's hand harvested, small batches, first cold press out of chili. Uh, uh, if you don't have it at the grocery store you're shopping at, ask for it. Maybe they'll get it in for it. We do appreciate it. Onions and peppers, drills with some beautiful olive oil over the top. I've already seasoned it with the three seasonings I used today, a little nutmeg chili powder and grilling magic, low sodium garlic pepper blend. I'm gonna take our peppers and our onions and over All on right. the Phoenix grill, I've got that baby fired up to about 400 degrees right now. Mm. We have one of the little stir fry baskets. They're excellent to have if you, if you need a gift for anybody, that's a great gift to use. So I'm gonna stir fry those, get those going, get them nice and softened up for the fajitas, for the hanger steak, for the? Avocados. Avocados. Sir, you better believe it, a little south of the border action. You know you can make your homemade guacamole. If you're using homemade guacamole, you wanna use a really nice, soft avocado. Uh, these I got a this different brand. This one's brain. a little hard. Yeah, that, one, that is hard. That is hard. That one you might want to wrap up in a brown paper bag, set it on the counter maybe for a day or so, then I'll go ahead and That's soften right. that up a little bit on there. They're hard. Yep. They're very hard. Now we'll see on this one. This is a little bit on the soft side. Not really tricky, but you want to serve one right in the medium of soft and hard, which I don't have. Yeah. 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 So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slice this avocado right down the middle on all sides with the knife. Be careful. Be careful. I'm a professional. Don't this you worry. This is live television oh, tape. God, I'm this scared. is live no, television don't tape. Do that. Isn't don't do it. No, no, no. Okay, I'll go ahead slice on the top. All right, see that where that came off? Yeah. You got the one half there. Okay, now if I want, I could cut that off. I'm going to leave that there. You know, I, I was telling, I was telling uh, uh, my hairstylist about grilled avocados, and she's, they've done them too, where they actually they pop them out of the shell, out of the peeling too. But I said, I think Merrill does them in the peeling. I do them in the peeling. You know why? Because then afterwards you're at a party. And you want to grab something, you just grab that little avocado and you got a spoon and you could just walk around. Was I invited to the party? You weren't invited to the party. All right. Okay, so you take the pit out. See how easy that is? You don't have to swear about it. You don't have to take that out. Place that. Now, if you'd like, I would add a little bit of olive oil. Let's drop just a little bit of olive oil on there. Okay, very good. Want to get that olive oil on there. They have choices that you can make. Some people will go ahead and use uh, even black beans. You know, put those in the center. Put some cheese on there. Today... I'm cheating. You can use some tomatoes and some onions, but you know what I'm going to do today? Today I'm going to use a little bit of salsa in there. Really? And you yeah. got all those beautiful tomatoes and onions all and cheese? Right. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mix them all together is what I'm going to do. That'll thicken it up a little bit. That'll help. All right. Go ahead. Put and some mix onions it. in All right. Put some onions in there. Come on. You're doing good. There you go. A lot of onions. A lot of onions. Okay. Place that right in the center. Okay. Now, two things you could do. You could place that on the grill right now. Put it on for about 10, 15 minutes if you wanted to before that. Let me try this hard one. I want to see if I can get that open because I want to show them what it's like to do. Uh, I, I want to do some jalapeno pop. Uh, uh, okay, anyway. Way, how long do you cook them? Anyway, about 20 minutes. But if you wanted to, you could rub that with oil, grill that about four minutes on each side, then put the salsa and the cheese on I it. think that's the way I prefer to do yep, it. A couple yep. of little soft squ score right, marks Right, it makes it a little bit more softer that way. The jalapeno poppers, we've done them before. Here's a quick way to do them. I'm going to do these fast because jalapeno Oh, take your time. It's our show. No, no, no. we got to get other things cooking here, buddy. Okay, all right. Take a fresh jalapeno, slice off one of the sides, hollow out the seeds. You pop that baby out and you got yourself a little uh, filling area there, a little cavity. Yep. This is just plain cream cheese. I'm going to put these on the grill, on my Phoenix grill off to the side. I'm going to take this off right now. This is right, okay. I'm going to let this take that. this off and set. We're just going to let this sit for a minute until the next segment. Okay. And we're going to show how to put together the fajitas. I think that's done. It's just going to set in tent now for about at least 10 to 15 yes. minutes to absorb the, 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 uh, the juices back right. in and to settle real nice and raise in temperature. So if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be a, mm. that's a nice rare right now, and I think we're doing just fine. If I'm not mistaken... I could dig right in there right now. I, I bet you could. Know the tortillas, I don't need uh, nothing. And the only thing I was going to do is throw some pecans. I can't do it. I'll do this for the steaks later okay. on. Right. We're going to throw a little pecan wood on our green egg right, to, a to add a little smoke action. flavor to I it. I like that. I like so that. So you folks stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to put together this whole meal for you and show you how to put together fajitas, and we're going to do some nice little buttered steaks coming up. All so right. stay tuned. I love it. I love it. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by the Oneida Nation and Cherry Delight. 
It's spring in Door County and cherry blossoms are blooming painting the peninsula's orchards with beautiful color. When in Door County, visit Country Ovens and taste the wonderful fruit that these blossoms provide. Our Door County original cherry delights are healthy, delicious, and capture the full flavor of Montmorency cherries. Sample our incredible chocolate-covered cherry delights, natural tart cherry juice, and tasty toppings perfect for cooking and baking. Located in Forceville, just 30 minutes from Green Bay. In the shadow of Lambeau Field, walk the path of legends, a historical tribute to the legacy of Green Bay football. Just down the road, discover more of what the Oneida Nation has to offer. Nestled atop one of the highest peaks in Brown County, just outside Green Bay, Thornberry Creek offers championship golf at its finest. 27 holes challenge all abilities and ages, making Thornberry a golf course everyone can enjoy. Seguli, welcome to the Oneida Nation. Wisconsin grillers can find Mad Dog and Merrill's signature spices, sauces, and marinades at these fine retailers. Happy grilling! Grillers, Mad Dog and Merrill here. Whatever your grill choice, you need great flavors. All natural American wood fibers, maple, oak, hickory, or mesquite and apple. Here's a Mad Dog and Merrill's great flavors tip. Take a sheet of foil, mix and match a handful of great flavors pellets, seal with a smokestack top, and place by heat source. In a few minutes, you will have competition style great flavors. 15 or convenient two pound bags, five great flavors. Available online at greatflavors.com. If you have a comment or suggestion about today's show, contact us at maddogandmerrill.com. And don't forget to friend us on Facebook. Fire up the grill with Mad Dog and Merrill and pop open an ice cold sun drop soda this summer. Oh, uh, drop it. Drop it, Merrill. Uh, yeah, it's my sun drop. Mm, mm. <sighs> I dropped it and it tastes great. Dang it, you dropped my sun drop. Oh, I'm sorry. Want a bite of my burger? No, I want a sun drop, the perfect summer soda to drop. Drop by your local grocery or convenience store and pick up some sun drop. MHP, Phoenix, and Profire grills used on today's show are available at these fine retailers. Go to modernhomeproducts.com to find a dealer near you. Hey, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Hey, hold on, I almost forgot this last jalapeno Ooh, popper. Man, I love those babies. Man, I'll those tell poppers, you. You, you put them on the, on the grates of the grill just long enough to blister their little bottoms and warm them up a little bit. They're delicious to do on the grill. I got my uh, peppers and onions. All right. We had them in that, our little fajita mix here. I kind of don't have much room here, but... You oh, got them. Oh, man. Let me get these. Hold on now, folks. Hold on. Here, you want to use my... Uh... I don't think... I think those are a trick today. Oh, there you go. They've got these right here. Peppers and onions. Oh, man. Little night. Oh, I forgot my onion rings. Oh, look at Ooh. that. The flavor on those. Have you got it the olive oil on those? Oh, gosh. Olive oil and, mm. and lime juice and seasonings. Uh, there's our little hanger steak. Of course, we're out in the field, so we got flies. You hang on to that. All right. Oh, thank you. Look at Merrill's beautiful avocados. Mm. We put the grated cheese over and let those blend together and you scoop those off they're just delicious now we got we the, the key thing about the hanger steak is to slice it thin oh beautiful can i taste that just to make sure it's right though? absolutely thank you i'm sorry folks but you know me you gotta you know what I'm... oh yep, man. i'm cutting it across the grate so we're doing mm. good i'm mm. gonna cut it like this and mm. just absolutely delicious that's the best cut of meat and, and, and you know why you never, uh, Rod was telling us, Rod Ofty was telling us, mm -hmm. the reason you never saw the hanger steak is they called it, they called it the, the, uh, the, the butcher steak because it never left the butcher. Yeah, <laughs> boy, it's really good. Oh, it's just delicious and it's great for fajitas. So that's a great way to do it. Merrill has our, our little tortilla shells. Oh, you got one already. I'm ready, I'm hungry, oh, man. Oh, man. You dish those babies up, a couple little pieces of meat in there some peppers right. in there, a little bit of onion in there, maybe a little extra squeezings of lemon or lime, some sour cream, and you roll that up. But I'll tell you what, you, you can have yours, Meryl. Okay. Oh, you're going look for the avocado. I'm looking for the avocado. Look at this, baby. Okay, here's some gorgeous steaks right now. And I'm going to show okay. you the difference in, in the next segment. I left the cap on one of the loins. And so I left the cap on one of the loins so we have the fat there. The rest I trimmed. And that's what's nice about grass-fed beef is you can do either or. So here's a real quick little thing to do with steaks. Right. This is my favorite way to do it. We're going to mm. put a little bit of grandma hazels over the top of these. Okay. Just a tad bit of grandma hazels over these. 
This, I want, you can find them in those uh, neat little departments with the bulk spices. This is sweet bell pepper, red bell pepper. And I'm gonna put that red bell oh. pepper over the top of the steaks. And Meryl, what's that over there, an eagle? Holy cow. And all we're gonna do is pound those in a little right. bit. I'm gonna do those on both sides. Okay. But we went to our good friends at El Cam Creamery. And, and let me show you some of the creameries okay. that they got real quick here. Just there's the El Cam Creamery. And we got just this one here. Mm -hmm. This is the unsalted one right here that Meryl was using for his. And then this is the cat's meow. And this is what I melted down. I melted down a whole one of these. This is the butcher block uh, paper that they use the old fashioned butcher rolled butter. Okay. And it's just absolutely phenomenal. And El Cam Creamery has those. I melted a whole a package of those. Whoa. And what I did last night is I did a whole bunch of these steaks and I dip them in that, that butter. All right. After I season both sides, I stick them in a pan, stack them up, put them in the refrigerator and watch them solidify. Oh, And honest look at to that. goodness, <laughs> dang. Uh, so there's our beautiful grass-fed beef. There's the solid butter on there. If you lift the hot grill of that right. green egg, place that baby on there, man. I'm gonna throw those on the grill, and that butter is gonna sear. The butter is gonna stink. The butter is gonna smell to high heaven, mm. and just be absolutely delicious on that solidified butter. Now, the other way to do it would be a real nice hot skillet and pan fry each one. Maybe uh -huh. sear it up and move it over where there is no heat. But this I, is aroma right here, I'll tell you. <laughs> I love that smell. I'm gonna get the rest of these on. You get okay. it cooking a nice little... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little steak sauce Thank here. You. I, I do have a, uh, I use a quarter cup, one stick of butter, oh, all can man. butter here. Let me get my friend there. As you can tell, I have melted that up. Now what I'm gonna do here <laughs> is I've got some mushrooms and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these mushrooms cooked first, and it'll take a good couple of minutes. So right? use a quarter stick of the El Cam butter. Yep, yep. I'm gonna put those on there. I'm gonna stir those around, really get those down until they're really nice and soft. And sure. then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of our barbecue sauce, which I'll show a little bit later, okay? Is that the garlic? That is the garlic. Mm. Now you can go ahead and use minced garlic, but since we already got garlic in our barbecue sauce, that's what I'm putting in there. Sounds good. And a little bit of beef broth. I'm gonna to top that in there also with it. And then I'm gonna let that go for about 10, 15 minutes. And you can add onions and things, but I like it just playing with the mushrooms. So I'm gonna go start cooking the mushrooms here. You dropped my sun drop again. Oh, I did drop your sun drop. I'll have to go get another one. There you go. We'll I be right that. back. We'll finish this up, show you the steaks when we're done. We'll get, we'll eat up these fajitas, show you the steaks and the butter sauce when we're done. And we got a couple other tricks up our sleeves, so don't go away. We'll be. Show me that trick you how you pull that quarter. You dropped my sun drop again. No, I didn't. I did not. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by Renard's Cheese of Door County and Golden Plump Chicken. Hi, I'm Lexanne with GNP Company, the people behind Golden Plump Chicken. Hunger is increasing in our local communities and it can really happen to anyone. Our company, along with Midwest Grilling, proudly supports food shelves throughout the Midwest. You can help by contacting your local food shelf and asking them how you can donate your time or much needed food items. Together, we can make a difference. A public service message from the GNP Company and Mad Dog and Merrill. Fire up that grill. Grillers throughout Minnesota can buy Mad Dog and Merrill's signature spices, sauces, and marinades at these participating stores. Happy grilling! That's right, I'm drinking milk right out of the carton. I live life on my own terms. I visited Wapaka County. I battled the white water of the Wolf River, biked bucolic backcountry roads, caught bass on sky blue lakes, Peru's shops, hither, thither, and yon. Oh, oh, what a piece of mud! Nine. Visit wapakacounty.com. Get clicking, start living. I'd rather hear the call of Wapaka County. Fire up that grill. Mad Dog and Merrill prefer to grill select meat from UW Provision, purveyors of fine quality meat. Ask your local butcher if their meat is from UW Provision, the meat people, and so much more.
Montmorency tart cherries have taken their place as the new superfruit and provide health benefits to all ages. This wonderful fruit contains antioxidants that possess the power to alleviate pain associated with gout and arthritis. They can also help relieve muscle pain and fatigue after a hard day's work or strenuous workout. Cherry Delight dried cherries are all natural, taste delicious, and provide the nutrients needed to promote good health. Try some today and start living a healthier life. In 1946, Alcam Creamery was brought to life by Cameron Peckham in the beautiful hills of southwestern Wisconsin. Now, Merrill, today Alcam is owned by Cam's son, Gary. Actually, I knew that, but you know, yep. in the early days, cream was produced within a 50 mile radius of the plant and delivered in cans to the butter plant. Remember those old days? Oh, do I remember them? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I used to sit right in those cans of butter. <laughs> but today, Alcam procures cream from around the nation. I mean, the special flavors in their butter comes from the history of blending cream from various sources. You know, and, and over the years, their, their, pro, their mix of products has grown from uh, uh, the bulk boxes of salted butter right. to a wide assortment of different sizes and shapes made for retail, for, for food service, uh, ingredients, and the all cam specialty that old-fashioned rolled butter. And I'll tell you what, that is my favorite. The, 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 the Amish good. rolled butter is just phenomenal. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. That Alcam rolled butter is delicious. Yes, sir. Smear, I'm gonna have you give me a hand. All right. We have our steaks on the grill. I threw some green top onions on there. And I want to show you the most delicious steaks in the world, but they're not gonna be completed. Oops, sir. Whoop, dropped one. Yeah, let's just get a couple more. He gets on so there. nervous, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know, there's thousands and millions of people watching I this know. right now. A couple steaks over there. Holy cow. And uh what the Look at the beautiful red peppers on there that I crushed into them. And those are just sweet bell peppers. So the oh. flavor and the texture is just phenomenal in there. And by the way, with the grass-fed beef that we're doing today and the Alcam Creamery, you can go on maddogandmerrill.com, maddogandmerrill.com. They're part of our sponsorships. You can go on there and click on them and you can get to their websites. They're delicious to do. You got it. How about a sauce? Hey, a little sauce. I got my mushrooms. They're all cooked up here, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. I'm just going to add a little bit of beef broth. Can we do that over here? Or do you have to? Oh, have I want to heat that up a little bit there on there. A little beef broth there. Are we going to lay them over my steaks? Yes, we are, oh, sir. Good. Okay. So beef broth and garlic barbecue sauce. Garlic barbecue. You can use any barbecue sauce that you want. Yep. Stir that out. Let that sit for about 30 seconds is all what you can do, but it gets nice and creamy. Let hey, that well, he's stirring right down that there. up. Let me say a couple things. We have some wonderful steak sandwiches on the grill. I actually took a beautiful loin strip uh, of grass-fed beef, and, I, and while it was still frothy, I cut them into beautiful steak sandwiches. And we put them on the grill, and as Merrill's ladling the sauce over my steaks, I'll show you those steak sandwiches. But in the battle of sandwiches, the bun is like half, if not more, the battle. So we always choose S. Rosen's, and they are delicious. They make better burger buns, better steak buns. S. Rosen's, we chose the onion and the Kaiser ones today. So as Merrill takes and ladles those, that sauce over my steaks, I'm gonna grab those steak sandwiches. All right. Ooh, 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 man. Talk to Beautiful. him while you're ladling. I love it. Yeah, we have the skillets hot is what it was. I turned out like it wasn't hot. No, we've got that. There we got the mushrooms. We've got the barbecue sauce in there and the butter. And I'll tell you what, life is good, sir. Oh, man, does that look, look delicious. At that. Look at that. I'll tell you what, now the steak sandwiches are wonderful. And you can have your butcher cut them for you or just cut them into nice strips. And they go fast and furious. And a lot of times we'll take a little Worcestershire. There you go. Worcestershire and butter. So we'll sear these up, put them in a pan. Sear them up real fast, put them in a pan, splash a little Worcestershire, Worcestershire over the top of about a, a, a portion of Alcam butter and let those sit in there oh, and then man. serve them I up. I love it. That and the W sauce. That's probably one of my favorite mixtures, really. Butter and Worcestershire. Yep, it is. It's, it's, uh, it's a match made in heaven. And a, little you know bit of gar and a little bit of garlic barbecue That's sauce. That's one of my other favorites, too. That, <laughs> butter, and garlic. You know what else I like? A little bit of green pepper in there, red pepper in there. I like that, too. It makes a big difference. Let's just see. How's the sauce? Oh, Isn't man, that that's good? delicious. Absolutely delicious. That oh. Alcam butter is delicious. I can't oh. wait to dive into these steaks. Oh, man. We're going to be right back to wrap this whole fiasco this up. Sure this Don't forget to go good. on maddogandmarrow.com. 
I'm going to cut into some of these steaks mm. and we'll show the gorgeous medium rare. And that we'll sauce, be right back. I know your steaks are good, but that yeah. sauce is awesome. That's so so that sauce is delicious. Mm. That really helps. Mm. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by Alcam Creamery. Following World War II, Cameron Peckham and Al Pulvermacher formed Alcam Creamery in Richland Center, Wisconsin. It's been nearly 70 years and many things have changed, but their passion for quality, taste, and excellence has not. We do one thing at Alcam, we make butter, and we do that very, very well. Whether it's in quarters, solids, whipped, or hand rolled, butter is an Alcam tradition in which you can taste the difference. Fire up the grill with Mad Dog and Merrill and pop open an ice cold sun drop soda this summer. Oh, uh, drop it. Drop it, Merrill. Oh. Yeah, it's my sun drop. Mm. Mm. Oh. I dropped it and it tastes great. Dang it, you dropped my sun drop. Oh, I'm sorry. Want a bite of my burger? No, I want a sun drop, the perfect summer soda to drop. Drop by your local grocery or convenience store and pick up some sun drop. Domestic abuse can happen to anyone, yet the problem is often overlooked, excused, or denied. Abuse is never okay, and you are not alone. My name is Jennifer, and I'm a domestic abuse survivor. Your safety, as well as the ones close to you, is a top priority, and no one should ever live in fear of a person they love. If you or someone you know is being abused or in danger, call the Domestic Violence Hotline. A public service from Cherry Delight and Mad Dog and Merrill. In the shadow of Lambeau Field, walk the path of legends, a historical tribute to the legacy of Green Bay football. Just down the road, discover more of what the Oneida Nation has to offer. From the rolling hills of Buffalo Bluff and the magic of traditional smoke dancing, Oneida offers a wide variety of culture and experiences. It's all right here. Saguli, welcome to the Oneida Nation. All right, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill. And you ready, Merrill? I'm ready. Go. One, two, three. <laughs> you know the dishes, man. You, know, you think you folks think this is all fun and games? Yeah. But someone's got to do the dishes, That's and right. it's scissors because yep. scissors don't cut. No, they rock. don't. Don't rock smash. Well, the once again, we had a great time. We're in Vernon oh. County here in, in the beautiful western part of Wisconsin. The beautiful valleys over here. It's gorgeous country. We invite everybody to visit. A beautiful trout stream oh, behind right us. Here. We haven't even showed you. Our cameraman Gary is just all excited about Come that. On. Go online at maddogandmerrill.com. Learn a little bit more. As always, we have a great time. Time to say goodbye, Merrill. Goodbye, Merrill. Goodbye, Merrill. No, goodbye, everybody. Have a great one. Happy grilling. Happy grilling.